If you've got the complete nine bundle for native instruments, you'll come across Contact. It's an amazing sampler, but I think to be honest, a lot of people are not getting the full benefit from it. So this is the start of a series. And I'm gonna firstly look at the quick load, which is gonna basically transform the composition process. It's gonna speed things up for you. When you look at this, you know, you're on the browser, you see all of these libraries are amazing. You know, the organ collection, the string collection, keys, etc. But I think it's nice to be able to customize the way that you can load these. So the quick load is the key. I'm going to show you here, if we come to files, we go to new instrument from list, there's nothing in there. And we can populate that with a whole bunch of selections of instruments that we want in there. It's going to really make it a lot easier to organize your sounds. So let's get this organized. In the area in the middle here, this rack, right click on there. You've got three choices, multi bank and instrument and focus on the instrument here. Come to files and you need to navigate the hard disk to where the instrument files are collected. And on the Mac, that's Macintosh HD, users and shared. Inside here, all of the files are there. And we're looking for the NKI files. Let me show you here. We're gonna to go to contact factory library. Inside here, a whole collection of instruments. Now these folders in here, you can actually drag over and I'll show you in a second. Firstly, I'm gonna create a kind of root folder over here So right click, add new folder. This is contact factory library. So this is kind of a collection of all different types of sounds that could be really useful. On the left hand side in the bottom window, I'm gonna select the top one, shift plus select the bottom one. So it's selecting everything in between. I'm gonna drag these onto the area inside that folder. It takes a bit of time. It's just gathering together the information about what's in there, but I'll show you the end result in a second once that's done. So look, let me just show you here. If we go to the band folder, we go to electric pianos, you've got this collection of electric pianos on the right hand side. Now I'm gonna come back up where we were before. We're gonna to go to a new instrument from list, contact factory library and go to band, electric pianos, they're all here. So let me load up the Mark One Classic. That's gonna load into this space. And you can see over here that that's this item in the list. But say for example, I was playing, I thought, no, I wanna try something different. Instead of going to the menu, dropping down and loading again, all I need to do is to go up here to the next button and it loads the next instrument in the list. So look, Crunchy Expressive, which is the next one down. Such a quick way to go through these presets. It's great because I can customize this. So another thing that I would like to have in my list is there's that fantastic collection of retro synth uh, instruments. Here we go, Retro Machines Mark II Library. So the instruments inside here. So what we could do is maybe I could set up a root folder which is um, kind of like vintage synths. And inside here, I could basically grab all of these. Let me just create another folder. So I'm gonna do this. And this is gonna be Retro Machines Mark to so inside here I pick up all of this up just make sure that I've got everything organized now actually thinking about it there's a whole load of these yeah so look let me just double check on it to make sure that I've got everything in here so all of these I'm gonna bring them in over here so these are contained within that retro machines folder there could be some other vintage synths that I would have in my collection let me take this away and what I can do now with the existing instrument is just replace it with another from that collection so here we go it's just a, a great way to get organized and i can literally load up the next or the previous so when you're composing it just speeds everything up so you know i want you guys to get in there go to your quick load section start populating it with your favorite instruments you know you could categorize this how you want i mean you've seen how i've done it it doesn't mean necessarily this is the correct way to do it another thing you could do maybe is grab some of those pianos so complete pianos because there's a whole bunch of them you know you may find you want to add them in there let me just see if we can find this so for example the new york grand let's find the instruments in here let me just do a folder and we can grab all of these here so it's a little bit of setup but to be honest with you, I feel it's worth it. So you don't have to keep going over to that left-hand side onto this library section to navigate for stuff. You can literally take the browser away. And by the way, I'm in standalone mode here, all right? So things might look a little bit different. I didn't want to be biased towards any particular DAW on this one particularly. So look, this is here. You can just drop this down and you've got all of your presets all ready to go, all organized exactly how you want them. 